What is up, Hedgehog Maniacs, Doki Vinax, Sonic 17 here? As you can see, I'm back with more Doki Doki and with Affection, which is a mod for Doki Doki Lodger Club. Last time we started playing, MC had to run some errands to get some supplies and everything. Various things. But he came across Monica, and it, it was like a little shopping date and all that. But when MC confessed his feelings for Monica, she just suddenly left. No explanation or anything. I wonder what the aftermath of that is going to be. Let's see what happens. Time to dive in. Let's do it to it. Pencils down, class. Please flip your exams face down, and I'll be around to collect them momentarily. Finally! After a grueling week of non-stop studying, exams are over. My first exam didn't go so hot, due to not studying much the day before. After that, I decided to put my head down and focus on my next exams. Not like, not like there was the literature club or anything to focus on. That worked to my benefit, honestly. Not having to face Monica this week has been somewhat comforting. Our schedules are vastly different, making it so I had haven't seen her at all this week. Thankfully, he's still a little, you know. I don't exactly have to dub the face her after what happened Sunday. Sayuri says she hasn't said a word about it, which I guess I'm thankful for. That likely means she hasn't told the others about it either. Personally, I've come to terms with the whole thing. She doesn't feel the same way about me. Which is fair. But not getting any form of answer hurts. But it is what it is. If she isn't telling the others, maybe the club dynamic will be safe. Hmm. Our friendship won't be. But I guess that's just what happens in situations like this. I still get the rest of the weekend to dwell on things before facing the music, at least. Ketsubi approaches my desk and takes my exam from me. You're free to leave, Sodyx. Thanks, sir. Kesumi nods, and continues on to the next student. I collect my things, swing my, swing my bag over my shoulder, and exit the classroom. Monica! As I walk out the door, I see Monica standing against the wall. We make brief eye contact before I turn sharply towards the school's exit. I'm not dealing with this right now. Sonyx, wait! I need to talk to you! She's serious. I think she's serious. I quickly spin around. Oh, you do? Funny that now you have something to say. I guess I'm not over it yet. Monica looks as she wants to protest, but holds back. I understand that you're upset, but can we please talk about this? Sure, I'm all ears. Thank you. Let's go to the club room. It's more private. I shrug and follow her to the club room. We make our walk in complete silence. With it being exam season, the halls are completely empty. Only the sounds of our footsteps can be heard echoing through the hallway. After what feels like a painstakingly long walk, we find ourselves in front of the club room. After you. Thanks. Monica silently enters the club room as I follow behind her. She walks over to the front desk, sets down her things, and makes eye contact with me once again. <sighs> Whatever you have to say, by all means. Thank you, Sonyx! Monica takes a deep breath before starting again. First of all, I want to apologize. The way, the way 
Jerry Act said it was out of line and uncalled for. I can understand you being upset with me and upset me because of it. I scoff. Yeah, a bit. I... I feel I owe you an explanation. If you were to listen, that is. I don't have much of a, I don't have much of an excuse not to. Might as well hear her out. I think you better hear her out, MC. I've got time. Okay, well... I reacted the way I did for a couple of reasons. I guess... First of all, I guess part of it was... was I was simply overwhelmed. Overwhelmed? Overwhelmed with yet another decision put in front of me. My whole life, I listened to others about what's best for me, not being allowed to make large decisions for myself. Me living alone wasn't my decision. It was my parents. Me taking out all these, of these extra curriculums was that of my teachers. While I'm grateful for me even given those opportunities, the fact is that I can't say no to those situations. So, when you told me what you did, I felt like I was being presented with yet another opportunity that I couldn't make a decision on. I mean, I understand that. But it's not like I was forcing you to confess your unending love for me. I was just telling you how I felt. Yes, I know. I know that wasn't what you were doing, but in that instant, that's all I could think of. But I know that was wrong. I put you in an incredibly embarrassing spot because I couldn't keep it together. I'm truly sorry, Sayex. <sighs> Maga looks me in the eye, a look of complete apologetic endearment in her eyes. I guess I can understand where she's coming from. She seems generally sorry, too. It's... alright, Monica. I get... I do. But I won't lie, it really hurt being left in the dust like that. I understand if you don't feel the same way. I'm not one of those psychos that think all women should think I'm, desi I'm a desirable partner just because. But even a simple no would have done the trick. A simple no wouldn't have really done the trick in this scenario. And that's because... Well, it's not what I wanted to say to you in that moment. Huh? <sighs> yeah. I raised an eyebrow. The other reason I ran off is... Well... There's been so many times I've been, been approached by guys around the school tell me how much they like me. It's all hollow. But I didn't feel that way with you. When you told me how you felt, I felt my heart jump. When you told me, something clicked inside me. Something that's been in the back of my mind for a while came to the forefront. When that happened, I guess I was afraid of making the leap. I was afraid to admit it to myself. But I'm not afraid now. I know how I feel. Is she really going where I think she's going? I think so, MC. The truth is, I feel the same way about you. All those things you say about how I make you feel like a better person, that's exactly how I feel about you. When I'm around you, I don't feel afraid anymore. Everything that I have going on seems manageable when you're with me. I really like you, Sonny X. I... Really? Yes, I mean it. I'm so sorry I screwed all this up. You probably don't feel that way about me anymore after all this.
Marga looks down. If I didn't know any better, I think I saw her eyes water slightly. <sighs> Monica. She likes me too. I can't stay upset with her. Who am I kidding? I still like her too. Is this, is this seriously happening? I take a deep breath and place a hand on Monica's shoulder. Sonyx? I still like you, Monica. How could I? I understand why you did what you did. While it hurt, I get it. You had your reasons, and they're perfectly valid. So, you don't need to worry. It's water under the bridge. <laughs> Sunny X! You mean that? Of course, Monica. Thank you. Monica quickly wipes her eye. Here goes nothing. Well, I do have one thing to ask you. Huh? Would you want to go on a date sometime, Dad? <laughs> Monica looks at me for a second, then laughs. Do you really have to ask? The answer is yes, silly. <laughs> Just want to make sure. I'm free tomorrow afternoon. Eager, are we? <laughs> Maybe a little. Tomorrow is perfect, Monica. Monica smiles. I'm glad. Thank you for being so accepted. And well, give me a, give me another chance. No need to thank me. You're giving me a chance too. Even if it took you a little bit. Eh. So, when you take me, it'll be a surprise. How about that? A surprise, huh? I've been looking forward to it! Why don't I meet you at your house? It's on the way to where we'll be, where we're going. Sounds good to me! Oh, Sadex! One more thing! What's up? This! <laughs> Monica quickly envelopes me in a hug. I freeze for a moment before reciprocating. <laughs> I catch a whiff of her perfume. The scent gives me a hint of vanilla. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> After a moment, Monica re releases me. If all I had to do to get a hug was... was if, all, if all I had to do to get a hug like that was confess, I would have done it ages ago. <laughs> Monica blushes, clearly embarrassed. Although, I'm likely in that exact same boat. <laughs> you think? Shoot! I need to speak to the library about a textbook for the, for the last two classes. I'll see you tomorrow? Wouldn't miss it. Monica lets out a slight giggle. Have a good night, Sunny X! <laughs> you too, Monica. I flash her a sincere smile, give her a wave, and exit the classroom, making my way towards the school gate. <sighs> wow! That just happened! Monica feels the same way about me! Seriously! I gotta be dreaming! I need someone to pitch me! For how destroyed I've been all week, I'm riding pretty high right now. Now I just gotta think of something for us to do to all. Oh, and tell Sayuri. Uh-oh. Tell it, uh, Sayuri. I wonder how Sayuri's gonna react. She's gonna freak when she finds out. That is an understatement, MC. Maybe I should... Maybe I should just call her instead. Probably gonna be... Probably a good idea. Saves me a hug attack. <laughs> <laughs> or 
Glump, as the little Grambling calls it. <laughs> Weirdo. I pull out my phone and dial Sayuri's number. Should be home by now. Hey, man. Sayuri, big news! Today's my Sayuri cookie day? What? No! I have a date with Monica tomorrow. What? <laughs> oh boy. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button and let me know in the comments below your thoughts and opinions. If you want to see more of my content, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you won't miss another video, or you can check another video out as you see on the screen. See you guys later! Quit doing that, Monica! <laughs>